Travelers, it's me on a DK checking in once again. And it's just me and my disciples talking to God while we smoke, though. We keep the lighter in our circle. What up, my sippers and stoners? It's me on a DK checking in once again. And today we're here with day 11 of our mirror work, okay? Guys, we're over halfway through. Halfway through. We're, we're like past that halfway mark. So, like, the first thing I want to say is congratulations because we've made it all the way to day 11, right? And I know that it's hard to sometimes get start something and, like, stick with it, right? So, um, congratulations on making it this far. Like, you really deserve some props for making it as far as you have, okay? So, today. Today. Um... We are going to deal with acknowledging and addressing our anger. We are also going to try to release some anger today so we can let more love in, okay? And I know that, that sounds really weird, but I promise you it works, okay? Let's read what the book has to say about it. It says, anger is an honest emotion. And that's true. It is. It's a very honest emotion, okay? But when it's not expressed or, pro or processed outwardly, it will be processed inwardly in the body and usually develops into a disease, a dysfunction, or some sort of bullshit like that, okay? Basically what she's saying is when you don't get that shit out, it's going to manifest itself in several different ways. Stress is one of those ways, you know? Okay, we generally get angry about the same things over and over again. When we're angry, we feel we don't have a right to express it, so we swallow it, which can cause resentment, bitterness, or depression. It's good to ang uh, handle our anger and release it whenever it comes up. If you feel like expressing yourself physically, you should. Grab a pillow, start hitting them. Don't be afraid to let your anger take its natural course. You have already kept your feelings bottled up too long. There's no need to feel any guilt or shame about wanting to get it out, okay? One of the best ways to deal with anger is to talk openly to the person who made you angry. When you feel like screaming some, with, at someone, then the anger has been building up for a long time, often because you feel you can't speak openly about the situation to whomever it is that you're angry about. So the second best way to let out our anger is to talk to the person in the mirror. That's you. Mirror work will help you get all your feelings out, okay? She goes on to give an example about one of her students had a, different, a difficult time letting her anger out. Intellectually, she understood her feelings, yet she couldn't express them outwardly. That, that's me. I, well, I'm working on that. When she allowed herself this expression through the mirror work, she was able to scream and call her mother, and she was able to call her daughter an alcoholic and all sorts of names, right? <laughs> she felt a tremendous weight was lifted off of her once she released that resentment. Later, when she seen her daughter, she couldn't stop hugging her. And all this was possible because she had released that rep the repressed anger that she had earlier. So many people tell me how much happier they are once they release anger <clears throat> towards another person. It's as though a... It's as though a huge burden has been lifted off their shoulders. And we all know how awesome that feels, okay? So go within and know that there is an answer to your anger. And realize that you can find it. You will find it, okay? It's very healing to meditate and visualize rage flowing freely out of your body. Send love to the person who is the object of your anger. And see your love dissolve whatever disharmony there is between you. Be willing to become harmonious. Perhaps the anger you feel is reminding you that you are not communicating well with others. By recognizing this, you can correct it. So let's affirm. It's okay to have your feelings. Say that to yourself. It's okay to have my feelings. Today, I'm going to express how I'm feeling in positive ways though, not negative ways, okay? Your mirror work. But before I get to the mirror work, let's talk about how awesome it is to realize what it is that's making you angry and getting down to the bottom of that and releasing that. Releasing it is not for the person that you're angry with. It's for you. Tension. I believe it's a lot of cancer and mass is being formed by stress. I believe that stress can cause that mass to form. In my, in my heart, I believe that with, with my whole heart. I believe holding on to anger and resentment for people is not doing anything but killing us. Because keep in mind, they sleeping good. 
they eating good. They not thinking about how they fucked you over. It's not stopping them from sleeping at night. Why is it stopping you from sleeping at night? You know what I'm saying? So it's a good thing to release that. Because I promise you, when you release the anger, oh my God, the love flows, okay? Here's where my shit was so fucked up. I was releasing the anger, but still holding on to it. Like, I was releasing the person, but holding on to the feeling. That shit not really worth it at the end of the day. I promise you it's not. Okay. Your mirror work exercise. Find a place in the mirror where you'll be safe and not disturbed. Look into your eyes in the mirror. Now, if you're still uncomfortable with looking at your eyes in the mirror, you can definitely focus on your nose or you can definitely focus on your mouth or your cheeks or whatever it is that make you comfortable, okay? See yourself and or the person you believe has wronged you. Remember the moment you became angry and let yourself feel the anger come through you. Begin to tell the person exactly what it is you're angry about. Be specific, okay? I'm angry at you because blah, 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 blah. I'm hurt because blah, 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 blah. I'm so afraid because you blah, 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 blah. Okay? You may need to do this exercise several times before you truly feel that you've gotten rid of your anger. You may want to work on one anger issue or several. Do what feels right to you. Okay? So if you got a few things you want to work on and you think you can really do that shit and it'll help you, you can do it all in one day, do it. But if you feel like you need to break it down, then break it down and do it over several times. Okay? Okay. Your journaling exercise. Have you been angry for much of your life? Here are some questions you can journal about to help release why you have habitual angry feelings, okay? Why am I choosing to be angry all the time? What am I doing to create situation after situation that angers me? Who am I still punishing? What am I giving out that attracts in others the need to irritate me? Hmm. Now write down your answers. Then ask yourself a few more questions. What do I want? What makes me happy? What can I do to make myself happy? Now, think about all the ways that you can create space to make yourself happy, right? Think about ways that you can create cheerful patterns, optimistic patterns instead of the ones that you had before. Just write down ways to cancel out the things that you've already written down see it's not about the things that we struggle with it's about the things that we're willing to do so that we don't struggle anymore if that makes any sense okay um i didn't even get around to light my weed today because i thought that this was very very powerful uh i'm drinking some uh coffee with peep screamer in it it is so good anyways okay guys make sure you like subscribe comment share Bing, hit that notification bell so you know when I come to you with some new shit, okay? Until next time, I am Miana DK, and you never know what's going to be in this morning's cup. Thank y'all. This is the ending of my video. <laughs>